Hey, it's great to be with you again today. Do you have plans? Do you have plans for your life? Do you have plans for your future? Do you have plans and you hope that God gets in line with your plans because you've got plans? And God, I don't I don't know what you're doing, God, but get in line, man. Come on. Get in line with what I'm trying to do here. And we get like that sometimes, right? We we make all these plans and we don't include God in the preparation point, right? We we start to jump and say, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna spend this and I'm gonna and God's like, oh hey, over here, hey, maybe you ought to talk to me first before you do all this stuff and plan all this stuff for your life. And I go back to scripture, right? And uh, Judas was one of the 12 disciples. Jesus handpicked Judas. He was, Judas was the only non-Galilean, by the way, in the disciples. And he handpicks Judas. And you know, when Jesus picked Judas to be one of his 12 disciples, Judas was jacked up, man. He was like, yes, the Messiah. He, he picked me, right? I'm going to be in the front row. I'm going to be in government. I'm going to be in charge. I'm going to have all this stuff and I'm going to, I'm going to be awesome. Right? And he wasn't the only one. The other disciples thought the same way. James and John did, right? James and John said to Jesus, hey man, we want to sit on your right and your left when you come into your kingdom. Make us big cheeses. And Judas had the same thing, right? He he thought that the Messiah was going to be this ruler and take over Israel and kick the Romans out, and he was going to be he was going to be big stuff. He didn't understand that Jesus' plans were way different than the plans that he had. And he wasn't the only one. I mean, James and John, right? Peter, at one point, Peter says to Jesus, like, uh, after Jesus says he's going to be killed, Je Peter's like, no way, Jesus, I'm not letting you do that. You'll never die on my watch. And Jesus said to Peter, get behind me, Satan, because you're thinking of things only of this world when I am thinking of heavenly things, right? And see, we, we kind of throw the, the rocks at Judas, but really all the disciples, they were thinking something entirely different than what Jesus was thinking. And so do we. Sometimes we say, Jesus, come on, man, we've got plans. We need you to get, get on board with what we're trying to accomplish here. And we never, ever even take into consideration that Jesus wants us to do something else. You know, Peter was that way, James and John were that way, and we're that way as well. So as we go through our days, when we start to make plans, may we go to the one who knows all plans, who wants us to talk to him, who wants us to consider where he would have us to go and what he would have us to do. And then when we get that that guidance from scripture or from prayer or from godly wisdom that comes from uh, pastors or uh, youth leaders or those who are deep in their faith in our churches, well, then we can move forward and say, God, take us, use us wherever you would have us be. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen. Amen.